Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's create a bill of material for assembly drawing using simple and nested repeat region in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So here we'll create three different type of tables, first level table and second level table using simple repeat region or general repeat region and then using nested repeat region. So what is first level and second level table? So first level table is if your assembly is having only parts, then that assembly is first level assembly and then that table is first level table. But if your main assembly is having number of sub assemblies and each sub assembly is having number of parts, then that assembly is second level assembly and then the table is second level table. So we will start with the first level table and then we'll go for the second level table and then we'll go for nested table. So to create the first level of BOM table, first we need to create the title using general tables. So add a general table just like this, place it here, add the title on the top, first merge these cells just like this. Now add the title, bill of material, serial number name and quantity. Now you can change the width of the cell from here. So I'll change this width. So I'll just make it 2.5. Now select the whole table and go for textile. Here you can make it center and middle, apply and OK. This title is ready now. Now you need to add a repeat reason here. So to add a repeat reason here, you need to add a row here. So go to add row and click this horizontal line. So the row is added now. Now this row will use as repeat reason. So add the repeat reason. So go to add, click on this cell first and then this cell. So this row got converted into repeat region. Now if you select this row, it got converted into repeat region. Now we need to add the report symbol to each cells based on these headings. Now this is the serial number. So for serial number, our report symbol is report index. For part name, we have assembly member name. And for quantity, we have report quantity. So now you have your repeat region and you have successfully added all the report symbol. Now you just need to update your tables. Now once you update the table, you can clearly see here that stud and nut are getting repeated multiple times and you are not getting anything in the quantity. So to add the quantity, you need to change the attributes. So go to repeat region, go to attributes, select the repeat region from the table and select no duplicates or no duplicate level. You can go with anyone. I'll go with no duplicate level and say done and done. So now you can see that you got all the quantities and parts are not repeated. So this is how we create the first level of BOM table. Now your first level BOM table is ready. Now this table, if you see, this table is from top to bottom. Now to make this table from bottom to top, just select the whole table, go for properties and change the properties and say OK. Now if you see this table, your table is moving from bottom to top. See the serial number, here it is moving top to bottom and here it is moving bottom to top. You can even see the part name. First part is in the bottom and last part is in top. So you can change your table from top to bottom or bottom to top just by going to properties and selecting the correct option. So this is done. Now I'll move to the second level of BOM table. 
Now if you see these two tables, both the tables belong to the second level of BOM table. But this is created using general repeat region or simple repeat region and this is created using nested repeat region. So I will show you both the tables one by one for second level. So first I will start with the general repeat region or the simple repeat region. So here also first you need to add the title along with a repeat region. So go to the table and first you create 6 by 2 a general table, place it here. Now add the titles. Now the titles are added. Now for this row, add the repeat region. So go to repeat region, add and select the first cell and then select the last cell. Say done. Now if you click on this cell, the whole row is repeat region. Now we need to add the report symbol based on these headings. So for serial number, Go for report, index, for name, go for assembly, member, name, for level, go for report, level, for material, go for assembly, member, PTC material, PTC material name. Now for type, Go for assembly, member, type and for quantity, go for report, quantity. So if you see this table, you have serial number, you have all three sub assemblies. You have first level and there is no material and this is assembly type and there is no quantity. Now to add the sub parts as second level, go to repeat region and go for flat recursive item. So click here and select the repeat region from this table. Now you need to select the sub assembly for which you want to add the sub level. So using control key, you can select all three sub assemblies at a time. So we are trying to add sub level for all three sub assemblies. Now you say OK and done. Now if you see this table, you have added all the sub level parts. You have level 1 and level 2. So this sub assembly is first level and all the parts are second level. Parts are having material. Assembly is not having any material and you got the member type, assembly and part, but still quantity column is not having anything. So to add the quantity, go to repeat region and change the attributes. Select the repeat region and say no duplicate level. Done. Now you see quantity got added here. Now one more time you go for flat recursive item. Select the repeat region from the table. Select all three sub assemblies one by one and say OK and done. Now, if you see this table, you have everything you have serial number, you have assembly and parts, you have all the labels, you have materials for all the parts, you have member type, and you have all the quantities. So, this is the second level of BOM table using simple repeat region or general repeat region. Here also you can change the table direction, select the whole table, go for properties, 
and change the direction say ok so now this is bottom to top now I'll talk about the nested repetition table here you will get all the second level item in a separate column and first level in a separate column so you can see here this is assembly 1 this is first level and all the parts are second level in a separate column with all the quantities listed here so this is called nested repetition bomb table now to create a nested repetition bomb table we need to create two repeat regions one inside the other so we will see the procedure so first I will delete this so here also we need to start with the general table first we need to add the titles so I will go for general table and I will add 9 by 2 a general table now use merge cell to merge these cells similar to this table now add the headings now I will create a nested repeat region for second level of bill of material now to do this we need two rows here so this is one row one more row I will add so go to add row just click on this line and add the row now we need to add two repeat regions one inside the other to create the nested repeat region table so for that you first add the first repeat region and here the process is slightly different you need to add repeat region from this cell to this cell not here now if you click this cell you can easily see that both the rows are the repeat region now the second repeat region you need to add inside that repeat region to make it nested so go to add now this repeat region will be from this cell to this cell and say done now if you click this cell this is the second repeat region if you click this cell this is the first repeat region so the second repeat region is inside the first repeat region so whatever item you have in first level that will come in first repeat region and if those items are having sub level item that will come in second repeat region so the second repeat region will call all the sub level items so this is the way of creating the nested tables so now you need to add the report symbols for each cell based on the title so for serial number just double click here and go for report index now for sub level items you need to have the same report symbol to this cell just double click here go for report index so for the sub level you will add report symbol in the second region for the first level you will add the report symbol in first repeat region so here assembly member name and for sub level here also assembly member name now for material so assembly doesn't have any material so I will leave it as it is and for sub level I will go for material so go for assembly member PTC material PTC material name now for level so for first level double click here go for report level and for second level double click here and go for report level now for type assembly member type same symbol here also assembly member type and for quantity also report quantity and for second level also you need to add the report quantity so go for report quantity 
So all the report symbols are added. We just need to update the table. So go for update tables. So now you can see here, it is adding first level and second level. See the assembly, this is the first level and all the parts are second level. So the assembly is first level and parts are second level. Now here you can see all the member type and in quantity you don't have anything. So for the quantity, go to repeat region and change the attributes once again. So select the region here. This is the first region and this is the second region. So one by one you need to change the attributes for both the regions. So select first region, say no duplicate labels and set done. So first level quantities are added. Now for the second region, so click on second region, go for no duplicate label, say done. Now you got quantity for second level also. So now you can see the nested bomb table for first level and second level. So this is how we create nested bomb table. So this was three different type of bomb table for assembly drawing in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.